Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be revisiting my Pat McGrath Rose Divine 2 palette. Here's what the packaging look like right here. Very pretty, very beautiful rose gold packaging. And this is the case that housed the palette. Very beautiful, very pretty, very elegant as it should be for the price point. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to do another eye look with this palette. So I'm going to take my fluffy brush and the first color that I'm going to use is Rose Seduction. And that is this color right here. I'm going to stamp first. And then blend. Very beautiful, very pigmented. And I did prime my eyelids. I used my MAC select cover up in NW45 because it's a little moisturizing so my eyelids don't be super dry now on to the other eye very beautiful as you can see it's very pigmented Very beautiful. You guys, that's my dog. I don't know what's going on in there. She's in there with my husband, so I don't know. All right, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take a smaller, fluffier brush and go in with Extreme Burgundy, which is right here. Stamp first to apply the color, and then I'm going to blend. Stamp, and then blend. And you could do circular motions to help blend it a little better. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Stamp. And then blend. And then circular motions. All right, so I'm going to take my fluffy brush again. I'm just going to wipe it off. I'm going to go in with Skin Show Rose Opal, which is this color right here. And put that on my brow bone. Very beautiful, very pretty color. Very pigmented. Okay, so I like how that looks so far. So now I'm going to go into VR6 Trio color right here, which is this trichrome color. As you can see, right here it looked like pink, and then in the mirror you can see the green. So yeah, I'm going to take that color on my finger and place that all over the lid. So that's one of um, Mother Pat's special shades right here. So I'm going to take my finger, swirl it around, and add that to my lid. And this is such a beautiful color, you guys. This is so beautiful. 
I can see like the gold, the pink, the green. Very beautiful color. Very pigmented, very smooth, and very buttery. Hope you can see it. Hope the camera is picking this up. All right, so I'm going go on the other side. And as you guys can see, hopefully you can see, looking at my lid, it's pink, it's green, it's gold. over one more time trying to make sure that the camera pick it up so you guys could see what I see all right so now I'm going to take my blending brush and then I'm gonna go in with extreme burgundy again right here and just blend the top of that out so it don't be no harsh lines. Going on the other side. All right, so now that I have that all done, oh, I'm going to take one more shade. So I'm going to go in with Estrio Pink Moon, and that's this color right here. This is another one of Pat McGrath Special Shades. I'm going to go in with a flat brush to add some pizzazz, as I say, to the um, front of my lid. Put that right there. And you guys, I did my eyes first, just in case I get fallout. And you know to prevent most of the fallout, you can wet your brush. But I just wanted to show the colors without me wetting them. Because you know once you wet your brush, it intensifies the color. So I want you guys to see the true color of this palette without me wetting it. So if you guys could see this, you can imagine when I go in and I wet the eyeshadow palette. Well, not the actual palette, but the eyeshadow color. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I'll come back to the eyes later. So now I'm going to take my Tatcha Water Cream Moisturizer right here. And that come off face. I really like this. It feels so good. It moisturizes. It doesn't break me out. And it feels so good. And I have combination skin. So, yeah, this is awesome. I really like this. Don't like the price. But I like all the ingredients it has. And it's really good with my skin. So, I love it. All right. 
So now I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray right here. Shake it up. I'm going to spray my face. Oh, that feels so good. All right, I'm going to dry a little bit. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. So I'm going to dry my face. Now I'm going to go in with my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer right here. Put this in my T-zone and then what's ever left on my forehead and on my cheeks. Oh, and my nose mainly. Then I'll just go like this for the rest and then I'll take the rest. That's on my hand and just spread it throughout my face. So as you can see, my face already look pretty matte. So now I'm going to go in with my Ordinary Serum Foundation right here. And this is in the shade Deep 3-2 Neutral. I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to apply one pump right here. Oh, okay. Let me open it. Apply one pump right here. And then one pump right there. And I'm going to go in with my foundation brush. Most of my discoloration is um on my cheek area for when I get pimples and then it leaves like that ugly black mark so I'll concentrate the foundation on my dark spots and then I'll work it around everywhere else And so yeah guys that conceal I mean that um foundation that I use, this is a very, very lightweight foundation. It's more like a serum foundation. So if your skin is not problematic or you don't care too much about um full coverage, then you can just skip this next step I'm about to do. So then this next step I'm gonna go in with my NARS cacao right here. And then I'll take this and put it under my eyes to conceal my dark areas. And by any means, you guys, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a makeup enthusiast. I really love makeup. I love watching makeup videos. I'm coming or becoming to love making YouTube videos. Even though they are they are hard as hell, but I'm really enjoying myself during this time. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my concealer brush, and I have a little discoloration, like right here, a little bit on my chin area, right there, right there. Then I'm going to go in with my foundation brush. Or a concealer brush, but you can use this for foundation as well. Cover up them dark circles, make it look like I'm nice and rested, bright eyed and bushy tail. And then cover my mouth area around. All right, you guys. So then this next step, you can skip this step if you want. But now I'm going in with the powder foundation in Deep 66. And I already know all the um, issues surrounding Kat Von D. But as you can see, this is the older packaging. I really have come to love this powder. So I bought multiple um, powders. So... I'm not going to waste my money, so I'm going to use them. And I still really like this powder, how it looks on my skin. So I'm going to go in with my powder brush. 
and just put that all over. As you guys can see, I do very little on my forehead. I really don't put that much on my forehead. Then I'll do my, then I'll come down my neck, make sure everything is nice and blended. I hope you guys can see this um, eyeshadow look, how it's green, it's gold, it's pink. This is so beautiful. All right, so after I do that, then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And this is the color caramel. So I already used this one right here, which is close to my skin color, to like cover up any dark marks or dark circles that the serum foundation didn't cover up. So now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Caramel. And this is just to brighten up my dark circles. And I don't, well, I'm not really brightening my dark circles. I said that wrong to highlight and I don't use a whole lot. I'm not doing the Instagram thing, just a little bit. And take my concealer brush and blend that out. And do the other side. My forehead is already a nice size, so I just put very little. <laughs> I don't need my forehead highlighted. It's already highlighted. <laughs> and guys, the key to everything is just blending. Just blend, blend, blend. Just make sure everything is seamless. All right, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go back in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And I do this so my skin don't tend to get too dry and flaky, so my foundation can look nice and smooth and not dry and flaky. That's the worst when your foundation is clinging on the dry spots, and that is just horrible. All right, so I'm just going to help this dry a little bit. Like I said, don't judge me, don't judge me, don't judge me. All right, so now I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty bronzer and Mocha Mommy right here and just add a little dimension back to my face. And this is what it looks like. And like I said, you guys, don't forget, I make up Forever 178 MAC NW47 and Fenty Beauty Foundation 440. And I can use 450 sometime, but it, it appears to be a little dark. Excuse me. All right, so here I'm bronzing right now. Bringing that dimension, as you can see, back to my face so it don't look flat. Like I'm casket ready, because Lord knows I am not casket ready. All right. <laughs> so here I go. And I just take whatever's left on my brush. If your brush is big, I just squeeze it. Go down the size of my nose. I'm not into that extreme nose contour or whatever. I just like to bring the dimension back and even out everything on my face with the brush, as you can see. All right, now I'm about to go in with my Dior highlight. This is in Universal One. Here's what it looks like. 
So I'm going to take my highlighting brush, swirl it around in all the colors, tap it, and add this to my cheekbones. Very beautiful, very pigmented. Very beautiful and deeper skin tones. Doesn't show too much texture. Like I said, I have texture, so I need um, highlighters that's going to um, not like show my texture because highlighters show texture anyway, but it's not too bad and a little bit on my forehead like I said because I don't need to really enhance my forehead because I have enough of that on its own and then like this and then like this all right now I'm going to go in with my blush this is the Milani blush right here this is the shade Bella Rosa and I know it look a little scary but once you put it on, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color on deeper skin tones. And this is what it looks like right here. So I'm going to take my blush brush. Try not to do heavy handed like I normally do. Because you can always build. But sometimes it's hard to take away. But if you put too much blush on it, you can always go in, back in with your powder brush and just stamp over it and that'll tone it down. But it's just better to probably just add a little at a time, a little bit at a time. And I'm seeing something. I didn't blend that on my eye. It look a little. All right, that's better. So yeah, here go the blush right there, very pretty. Hope you can see it, very beautiful, very pretty. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna go in with this Jordana 12 hour liquid eyeliner pencil in Jade Jewel, like a deep green color. Very pretty. Hope you can see that. Sometimes during the daytime, I don't like to wear black because it looks too harsh. So if you could get you a nice, pretty deep green or a pretty deep blue, it's so beautiful. So now I'm going to take my Maybelline mascara. Put some down on the bottom lashes. You don't have to, you can skip this step if you want. But my lashes is little, so for me to get a little drama with my lashes, cause I'm not adding um, falsies today, then I just have to put this on the bottom to give me a little drama. All right, now that I'm done with that, I'm going in with my NYX, perp my NYX pencil in deep purple. First, let me wipe my lips off. And my ring. All right, and I'm going to go in, my, go in with my deep purple NYX pencil. I love this pencil right here. And that's a dupe for the MAC Current pencil, which I also love. But this is like way cheaper than the MAC one, but I do own that one, but I love this one. Same color, lasts the same amount of time, different price. 
All right, so now I'm going to go in with my Mother Pat lip gloss in Divine Rose. And here you have it, guys. My nice look. I think I did very good. I have the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 eyeshadow palette on. I hope you guys can see the colors. Very beautiful, very pretty. Nice everyday look. You could wear it to work. You could wear it out. Lunch date, wherever you want to wear it. It's all good. So now I'm just going to add my earrings. And yeah, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoy my makeup tutorial slash Mother Pat Divine Rose 2. Dipping back in that palette as I should for the price point. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notice notification bell. It will get greater later, like I always say. I'm new to this. I'm working it out. So far, so good. So yes, like comment subscribe and like I always say youtube family stay well stay safe until next time peace out